Hello guys, welcome back to another video. How many times have you been in a situation when the other person speaks so contrastingly, so opposingly that you are just like, bro, shut the fuck up. Now, whether it is politic or whether it is life in general, whether it is college or school, we all have been there, right? What if rather than shutting him or her up, rather than rolling your eye, what if I say that you should listen to them and listen means actually listen to them, right? Act of listening to the, that's what we call. It. Sounds crazy, right? Now, before you start thinking, oh, so am I supposed to hear every bad opinion that I hear? Nope, that's not it. Toleration is about letting other person speak their mind even when you are 100% against it and then listening like actively listen, right now if we talk about John Stuart Mill we're getting philosophical for a second said that if you only listen to who, what you already believe you'll never really grow the need to be challenged by different ideas is to strengthen your own John Mill talked about toler toleration because of the three as first you might be true but if you hear the other person who is against that truth you'll strengthen your truth second thing what if you are actually wrong and the other person is right listening to other person tolerate tolerating the other person's opinions makes you consider reconsider your own opinion because a lot of times we are wrong and third both of you might be correct and you might come at a common conclusion anyways it is essential it is benefit for your own now the question comes where is the best place to start learning this right here in college this is because you're surrounded by people who grew in completely different worlds with all kinds of opinions all kinds of extreme opinions to be very precise and this should this is a shot to practice toleration and level up your thinking right so again the question comes why college is the place to start with toleration right to engage in contrasting ideas to listen up what the other person is saying which is e which is even though which may be like contrasting or completely opposed to you right the first thing as i said because of exposure to all kinds of opinions right diversity of the college you meet different kinds of people who have different kinds of opinion in your class itself there might be extreme feminist while at the same time they might be misogynists right and in your class there might be extreme rightists extreme leftists right so there are all kinds of people in your class now you might take the stand that i go to a local college i go to a traditional college and we do not have such diversity even if you do not have have such diversity the views would be contrast people come from different families people are born and brought up very differently everyone is born and brought up very differently even if you are in the same city right so that is the reason why college is the place second thing college is a safe place, safe place right if you go and test your theories in the real world you might face terrible backlash and things might go the other way right right and things might be very getting very nasty for you and if you go out in the real world right if you go uh, test your the theories outside the college now college is a safe place why because since college is an institution so let's say you test your theory somewhere right we form a lot of theories still at 12th standard college is a time to try right so you try and test your theory outside the call let's say it failed the moment it failed the coordinate of your life gets disturbed and that coordinate is affect is going to affect most of the coordinates of your life whereas when you're in a college you are in an institution so the maximum that can go wrong is the coordinates of the institutions institution will go will go like the other way right so that is why it is a safe uh, safe space for testing your theories this is the testing ground for uh, your theories right because if you test your theories outside the college if you test your beliefs right by theories i mean beliefs ideas your way of thinking right if you test it outside your college what will happen is that you severe your important relationships i'm not saying that college is not a place where you form good relationships but still college at the end of the day is you know a institution where you have the sole purpose of learning and advancing in your career and growing yourself personally right so that is a reason third thing it is also critical uh, to refine your thoughts like in college even in class we engage in a lot of discourses right what happens at the end of the discourse is that we refine our thoughts right i might think that this 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 like let's say we were discussing on north korea Right, right. I said that we should intervene in what is happening in North Korea, and Nishant was completely against it. Right. He debated how the situation is not that severe in that country. Right. Unlike what happened in the Germany, people were somewhere aware of it. We do not have a proof of it. Right. So we cannot intervene. Right. Everybody is so you know nuclear bomb weaponized, and at this point we cannot intervene. Right. So he. put his stance in the topic right 
and I at the end refined my thoughts right so that is one of the reasons why again you should engage in such discourses and why college is the place right additionally people in college come from different backgrounds as I said till 12th they come across a lot of things a lot of situation and they just form theories in the mind right they come with those theory in the college right so even you go with that theory in the college right you enter the college with a lot of theories with a lot of ideas a lot of beliefs right so that is a reason why you should engage with, with opposing ideas and college is the place right third what are the challenges right so now you might say that i do not want to test my theories because they are already so strong right i knew i know that they are strong right one of my friend actually says this all of the time he says that whatever he has formed till 12 are so true that they cannot be denied even in college right he just sees his theory being applied to every other situation in the college right I, i'll just put it in the description what by what i what i mean by theory right i'll just put it in the description okay so uh he said that every other theory is applied in the college that is actually one of the challenges of engaging in opposing ideas engaging in op opposing views opposing beliefs in the college right because this thing what he says is actually falling in one of the challenge which is called the confirmation bias this happens when you selectively pick out the situation that suit your theory right ignoring the ones that do not suit your theory so let's say if there are two hap events happening a b and c, three events happening let's say a b and c you'll just pick out the event a and then put it in your theory and just say oh my theory is working you'll completely ignore the b or c, b and the c labeling them as something which is beyond your control and we just happen it was a black swan rohit right so that is the problem that is a challenge that we face when we engage in opposing ideas which is the confirmation bias we just tend to confirm uh, theories and that's completely normal that's how our mind works our mind doesn't like to exist in vacuum it just wants to find a ground right it just want to find links to every other thing that happens in our life so that is one of the aspects second it is emotional react now even though human beings are like rational sentient beings but what happens most of the time is that our quick and the immediate response is emotional one that might overpower our rational response that might make things go wrong or that might prevent us from engaging in opposing ideas and contrasting views and con contrasting beliefs or in other words toleration right the third challenge which i actually discussed with nishant and he mentioned a very good thing that not engaging in toleration not engaging in opposing ideas opposing beliefs not engaging with people who hold contrasting views to your own not having a discourse or discussion with them right they like their shell life they just love they just love it because that provides stability to them who would want their theory to be falsified and then you know see the whole things in a whole different perspective nobody wants that right right it is actually good for short duration but in the longer terms you just become a regressive being right you just go backwards you do not develop your self development just gets to zero right ground level right so that is one of the challenge now coming on to how to cultivate toleration how to engage in opposing views how to engage in contrasting views how to engage in discussions which involves different people first thing and very obvious thing is active listening and dialogue find those people who have contrasting views engage with them right engage in a dialogue with them not in debates right active listening as i said even in the first part of the first part of the video that you shouldn't be listening you should be actively listening just listen not because you're just giving the time to that person that means you're a good communicator you're a good listener if you're giving time to the person who ha uh, who is who has uh, who is having a opposing view or uh, who is having opposing or contrasting beliefs right that means you're a good communicator if i give if you are giving him or her the time but if you are actually giving him or her the time along with listening and actively deciphering what that person wants to convey and then actually challenging your thoughts along with each statement the person says right that is what uh, engaging or that is what entertaining the uh, opposing views or the opposing beliefs mean right the second thing is empathy and perspective taking a lot of times what the other person says might seem a uh, contrasting or opposing to our own beliefs but what that person is saying is actually what you would have done if you were in his or her situation right so 
perspective taking and empathy that is why it's very important coming on to how to you know cultivate this right understanding it all starts with understanding that disagreement is actually a learning process losing gains you knowledge if you're engaging in a debate do not fear that you lose the debate right if you lose that's a good point this friend just asked me to rate someone right and uh, and he goes like two or three and four and he mentioned a very good reason that that person has the potential of growing like in eight points right if i'm giving somebody a rate which is lower than three that means he has a potential of developing at the rate of seven right and that was like amazing so the more you lose the more you gain right losing makes your thoughts better it refines your thought right you come up with very pure and very strong thoughts right at the same time you actually come up with true and the right thoughts right so that is why engaging in such views uh, talking with people who have opposing beliefs is very important i was discussing these points with few of my friends and they came up with more 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 questions which are extension to this right so like one of them asked that uh, how much should we tolerate should we tolerate like anything or there should be a limit somebody was asking what if we sympathize so much that it can lead to opposing uh, results to us so what we decided that at this point of time toleration is so undervalued that even if people just just you know engage in such op- opposing views that would be enough that would actually fulfill the purpose of the video right that will actually make them develop the- themselves that will be a major cornerstone of self development right so that was it so since you are in college i i am just assuming that most of you are in college the youtube stats shows me that most of you are in the age of 18 to 24 so if you are in college engage in such people engage with such people find people who have such contrasting views find people who have such contrasting beliefs than you find a strong feminist and a misogynist go talk to them sometimes they'll just be like they, some, sometimes people just have so shallow opinions sometimes people just have so uh, superficial beliefs sometimes they also have very strong rooted beliefs it will anyway help you right so since you're in college utilize the time at the end of the day it it will be a amazing learning process for you so that was the purpose of the video to make the viewers realize how important is toleration how important is engaging in opposing thoughts and beliefs so that was it for the video i'll come up with more videos like this and uh, thanks for watching bye bye